Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing an all day wear test using the Chanel. Now this one is the Ultra Wear Flawless Foundation. So if you wanna see how this worked as I was putting it on and then the end of the day, how did it do? Stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna try the Chanel and this is the Ultra Wear Flawless Foundation. And let's see, the color is in 21 beige. Let's see how this applies and how it stays all day. So I've already did my morning routine and I used the primer from Scandinavia. So we're gonna pump some of this on my little brush. And anytime I see a foundation say flawless, who doesn't want to have flawless skin, right? All right, pump two. And then we'll go with pump three. And this is using a Makeup Geek stippling brush, foundation stippling brush. It did go into, A, I didn't have to use a lot on my skin. So three pumps got my neck and cheeks and my forehead. And it's just, it's a really pretty finish on my skin. And I like the full coverage foundations. It did pretty good on my little spot up here that I have. So I'm real excited to see how this Chanel does on my face for the rest of the day. So stay tuned because we're gonna see how this baby does. Okay, so I am back. It is end of day. I wanna say it's been about 13 hours since I did my makeup. So it's kind of definitely end of day. So let's talk about the Chanel Ultra Wear Flawless Foundation. I love it. it has held up really nice so it's still spring i think today got up to well about an hour ago it was still about 88 degrees i do work in an office i was in and out a bit today and i i'm just really impressed with how it held up overall and again this is 13 hours i'm tired i'm absolutely tired all right, so around my chin held up better than normal, so maybe I wasn't resting my my chin on my hands like I normally do, because that did well. I do see a little bit of pulling away around where my glasses are, but not enough for 13 hours later. Like some, some of the foundation reviews that I've done, not a full 13 hours later, you can definitely see where I've worn my glasses and it, it's a hole right there. Well, it's 13 hours later and it's barely kind of pulled away, not enough to really be totally noticeable, but there is some splotchiness around my nose area. I'm just having a hell of a time with allergies worse than normal which is why I didn't do much with, or as much heavy eye makeup as I normally do. But really and truthfully, as far as my forehead goes, everything stayed there. Nothing really got muddy per se. So overall for the end of a 13 hour workday in and out, kind of moving around, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with this Chanel Ultra Wear Flawless Foundation. So I'm gonna get a kick out of using this more because again, for it to be end of a, a, a 13 hour day, it still held up really nice. I did like how it sits on the skin. It does give kind of a natural, flawless kind of look to my skin which I like and you guys see before I start how red and blotchy my skin is. So to get something with three pumps to do my face and neck, I 
think it did great. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Have you used this foundation before? If you have, do you have dry skin? Did it work for dry skin? Do you have combo or, or oily skin? One of my girls is in here with me. And have you have you tried this with whatever kind of skin type you have? And it, booty booty. I don't know, it's end of day, I'm just exhausted. But I really, I really would like to hear what your comments are about this foundation if you tried it. So I like it. I hope you enjoy this tutorial or review. Thank you so much for watching my video today on the all day wear test for Chanel the ultra wear flawless foundation so if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions please put those below i love interacting with anyone on my youtube channel and if you haven't subscribed i'm just saying please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend and as always you have a choice so make it a beautiful day